Ricoh Theatre Camera using 360 photos to create a virtual tour. Your teacher might have access to some 360 cameras. You might be able to use SharePoint or Thinglink to create a 360 tour. Make sure you check with your teacher which program you are going to be using. It's very important that you complete these steps to make your tour successful. The first step is planning. Think about what 360 images you'll need, additional still images, any audio or video you would like to add to your tour. Make sure you record your planning because this will be helpful when you're gathering your media. Step two is to go out and take your photos and record additional media. When you're using the 360 camera, use a selfie stick and the disc to protect your camera. If possible, take photos at eye level and use the timer to run and hide. If you can't hide, take the photo from above your head or act as though you're looking at something else. Once you have completed the step of taking your media, you need to upload and edit your photos. Download your photos from your 360 camera and any other devices where you have taken media such as iPads. Make sure you save all that media in one folder on your device or your network folder. And then edit any photos such as taking out people that haven't given permission to be in photos. The next three steps involve actually making your tour. You need to upload your photos and media to your class team if you're using SharePoint or ThingLink. You need to create your tour and add hotspots for places of interest. Review your work and ask for feedback from your peers and your teacher. And then once you've finished, share your creation. If you've used SharePoint, you'll be able to share your creation with other students or teachers within the department. If you've used ThingLink, you'll be able to share your creation with the wider community. Good luck.